Vielen Dank, Frau Kollegin Vergia. Es folgt nun Frau Kollegin Scharke für zwei Minuten. Thank you very much, President, Commissioner and Colleagues. The unrest and human rights violations in Bahrain will not be overshadowed by fancy advertising campaigns or sponsorship of the World Economic Forum on CNN. Whoever looks more closely at Bahrain realizes it's a shame that the royal family and the government have not managed to adequately address the human rights concerns and grievances of the population. And let me stress that they do not need interference from either Saudi Arabia or Iran in their domestic affairs. Instead, the BICI report as well as the Universal Periodic Review recommendations should be implemented full stop. We also identify a few other urgent reforms that must take place. We oppose forced disappearances and the use of special or military courts to try suspects of so-called national security crimes. Clearly, doctors must not be hindered or see their work politicized. Especially when it comes to juvenile detainees, Bahrain should treat them in line with the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, to which the country is a party. In this resolution, we also call for a moratorium on the death penalty and hope it will be abolished. Prominent human rights activists such as Abu Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja and his daughter Zainab are not released yet, and neither are Nabil Rajab or Ibrahim Sharif. We once again call for the release of all political prisoners and human rights activists. And I hope on a more positive note, that the decision by the Arab League to set up an Arab human rights court in Manama will serve as a catalyst and a reminder for the respect for human rights that need to be guaranteed in Bahrain and across the region. Because the sad thing is, looking at the entire Middle East, one would hope the problems in Bahrain that are solvable will be dealt with once and for all, so that its ambitions on the global stage are not just economic or strategic, but that they are matched with granting the people of Bahrain rights and opportunities, and so that I, as an MEP, can swiftly visit the country without being denied a visa. Thank you. Vielen Dank, Frau Kollegin Scharke. Jetzt als letzter Verfasser, Herr Kollege Schlüter, für eineinhalb Minuten. Tack, Herr Ordförande. Jag tycker det är bra att vi uppmanar varken Saudiarabien eller Iran lägger sig i Bahrains affärer på det sätt som de gör.